Well guys, I figure I'm to the point here where I got to start up the uh, 450 with the bad flywheel key and drive it around over by the garage to try to take the old motor off of it. So I just gave it a little bit of spray in the carb, like some carb cleaner here. And um, I can't remember if the choke cable works or not. Let's hit it here. Yeah, it seems like it works. And uh, got my battery pack here hooked up. I'm going to see what happens here. does hell yeah all right the driver on out yeah baby I guess I ran out of gas. <laughs> well, it's working, which is cool. You all saw that. And uh, I've been sitting outside since last fall. I haven't touched it. And uh, it was running pretty nice, too. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, I got to drain all the oil out of the transmission and all that crap in order to get that motor off. So I'm going to pull it under my deck over here in the gravel area and my garage is right there so I can have easy access to it. So I'm going to pull this 8163B out of here and uh, get that 450 in here and we'll go from there. So let's see if we can start this thing up. This thing always starts up good. Let's see what we got here. Not bad, huh? the 5865 working on painting the hood so that's off of it That's the old old motor that we're going to take out of it. So, yeah, I put a piece of plywood under there so it would make it a little bit easier to work than in the gravel. But uh, the problem here was that this old motor was not from this machine originally. It was a transplant from this 450. And uh, some of you guys might remember from my videos last fall that this thing had a little bit of a problem which was called the flywheel key was broken in the crankshaft and took out half the crankshaft so i really don't like to run this thing that's the first time i've ran it since i knew this problem happened last fall so i think what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to take the starter off this one and throw it on the other engine just because we're running out of time on this project but um yeah so we got to take in order to take this motor off it's a real pain in the butt because of the hydraulic pump over here so i actually have to take the muffler off you see over here on the left here in this area down here the muffler goes around the bracket for the hydraulic pump 
So you can't actually take the motor off unless you pull the muffler off. So hopefully this muffler will come off with ease because I just had it off last fall. I think I even put anti-seize compound on it when I put it back together. But uh, this muffler is pretty rusty, which isn't cool because it's hard to find the one with this downspout on the side. So anyways, I got to pull the muffler off. Then I got to unbolt the pump from the pump bracket there. And uh, that should allow me to get this motor off the machine. And even taking that pump bracket off is really hard because there's just not a lot of room down here. This fitting on the right side of the pump, that elbow is like right up against the blower housing. So you don't have a heck of a lot of room here to work, but we'll get it done. And uh, once I get this thing off, then again, yeah, I'm gonna take that uh, starter off and put it on the other machine. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do for now is just, I don't even know if the coil works on that other machine or anything. So I guess I could just use all these parts on the new machine. But anyways, you get the idea and uh, my goal is to have this done about seven or eight days from now so I can bring it to a tractor show. And uh, it's kind of a far-fetched goal, as you guys can see, but uh, we're doing our best to get to it. 